Hi, my name is Quentin Freda. Today is my special day. I am uh, here at the University of the Potomac graduation day. I am a student and now a candidate, but now a graduate of the Doctorate of Business Administration. I absolutely have had a phenomenal experience here at the University of the Potomac. So I'm going to head into the graduation and thank you so much for your time. Please stand for the presentation of our colors and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Good morning to all of our guests, friends, family members, faculty, staff, and most importantly, good morning to all of the graduates of the University of the Potomac. I am pleased to announce that in the 2022-2023 academic year, we have a total of 247 graduates represented by, get this, 41 countries. Eight are completing their Associate of Science degrees, 49 completing their Bachelor of Science degrees, 
185 completing their master's degrees and five completing their doctorate degrees. Five years ago, I embarked on a life-changing adventure, leaving behind my country of Nepal to pursue my dream in the United States. It was a decision that required immense courage and determination. However, with the unwavering support from my family and my friends, I've been able to achieve this remarkable milestone. Graduates, as we stand on the precipice of the future, let us take a moment to celebrate our accomplishment. Whatever path we choose today, let us remember that Success is not solely measured by external validation or societal expectation. True success lies in defining purpose, in pursuing our passion, and in making a difference in the lives of others. In the word of Ben and Henry, life is tough, my darling, but so are you. Class of 2023, let's not forget that even in the face of adversity, we possess the strength and resilience to overcome any obstacles. I would like to impart just a few life lessons which I believe will enable you to lead a more productive and fulfilling life. I present to you Anita's five tools for success. So the first tool to put in your toolbox, like I said, props, is a dum-dum lollipop. Dum-dums are known for their assortment of flavors. Rather than halting production to clean the machine between batches, the company cleverly combines a little flavor A with a little flavor B, packaging them as a mystery flavor. Number two is a wooden pencil. In order to be useful, we need to sharpen it. Moreover, the eraser erases mistakes made by the pencil. We have the ability to learn from our missteps. Number three, it's a mustard seed. So the mustard seed, despite its small size, has the potential to grow into a towering plant, becoming the largest in the garden. Number four, I'm sure you all like, is a $20 bill. Money, when utilized responsibly, has the potential to create a tremendous positive impact on the world. And number five, it's a cotton ball. It symbolizes dreams. Dreams can hold an immense significance. So these five things are just examples that illustrate that setbacks and adversity, adversity are stepping stones to greatness. So don't envy anyone else's success. Blaze your own trail and set your own goals. Congratulations. Graduates 2023, thank you so much. Graduation's done, we're finished. What do we do next? For future students, just some parting, parting advice. Be decisive, okay? Be decisive, be dependable in your commitment towards higher education. Have a strong, strong will to take the initiative to do what's right on your academic journey. 
Um, I want to thank everybody, all of my professors, the University of the Potomac, everyone who was involved in my academic journey, and it takes a tribe. I can't do it alone. But what happened was there was a lot of really good mentors, a lot of academic professors, my research chair, advisors. If I named each and every person who helped me along this journey at the University of the Potomac, I could go on forever. So I'll just simply say this. Thank you so much. And again, let's circle it back to the future students. You have got to make sure that you are motivated and inspired. Find that thing that keeps you along that academic journey. Never give up and I have faith in you. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Devdi Mascuzzi. Um, I joined Potomac University in 2020 in March. Uh, the reason I chose Potomac University to do my master's because it's the best university. I can say it's like family oriented, uh, protect their, uh, their students, support their students. And whatever crisis as a student, especially me as an international student, it has been a very, very beautiful journey and I'm very, very grateful. As now I'm a new mom, they supported me even during my, I can say during my pregnancy, they supported me uh, in, in classes in general. Uh, they supported me, I can say, and my family too. The teachers are very, very friendly and we are whole family. It's, it's, it doesn't matter like what, what you're going through or what you have. As long as you learn to communicate it, they support you fully. And I'm very grateful for the teachers, the professors, the whole staff in general. I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy that I'm, um, I'm enjoying this. And as a mom, my baby, she's 18 months, and I'm happy that through all the journey when I was pregnant until I have her, uh, they were there for me. They made the journey very, very easy. And the tears I have is for the excitement because it was very easy, no difficulties. So I'm very grateful, and I hope I'll be back to do my PhD. Thank you so much. I started this journey um, because of a man named Larry Wharton. He came to our unit. Uh, he spoke about the diversity of, his, of the school that he's a part of, and I got introduced to it. And I began into something that I would thought that would never end. Today it ends, but it starts a new beginning for the new chapter of my life. Because of the military, because of all the faculty, because of the staff, the teachers, and especially the counseling that I had throughout this community and throughout this school, I was able to achieve something that a lot of people don't have the chance to experience. Without the family support, without my Lady Diamond, without everybody else that stood beside me throughout this term, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So at University of the Potomac, uh, all our degrees are stackable, meaning that the student can come get associate degree, then move to bachelor degree, to master's degree, and then even doctoral degree. Beginning from the past year, we started to offer doctoral degree. We just graduated five new doctoral uh, degree candidates. These are our programs. Also, our programs, academic programs, are STEM programs. So there are five STEM programs, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. One is, say, for example, Master in Geospatial Intelligence, Master in Information Technology, Master in Computer Science, and Master in Data Analytics. This is how we focus on the job market that today in uh, Washington, D.C. and all over the United States. University is the university of opportunity. Think about it this way. Just this year in this graduation, we represented 41 countries who completed their degree here. Our objective is simple. Teach you what you need to know in order to get the job that you trained for. So we welcome all of uh, the, those people who want an opportunity to study at University of the Potomac, that opportunity to succeed. Today I am extremely excited. We celebrated the 2023 commencement ceremony here at University of Potomac. Today we graduated 259 students. Out of the 259 students, 161 students participated in today's ceremony. Amongst the 161 students were five doctorate students. We're very excited about this program in particular because the program literally just started a year and a half ago. 
So we're excited about that. Our graduate students leveling up to the doctorate program and our undergraduate students leveling up to the master's program. So we're excited about that in their future. For those interested in University of Potomac, the things I could say that stands us aside from everyone else is the fact that we do international well. We represent 41 countries in just today's ceremony alone. Domestic students in the D.C. metropolitan area as well as 24 other states are represented here in the United States for University of the Potomac. So we know that we do education well. Our rigor in the classroom is across the board as well as online. So we offer three different modalities, two different locations, D.C. and Virginia, close to the White House and the monument. So we're excited about that as well. Um, and we're looking forward to any of those that are interested in University of the Potomac. Our team does it right.